Hello and welcome to this Hello. week's episode of Sailor Barry and Haley. 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 In this week's episode, we wrap up our trip to Salt Spring. Also, we will be in Port Townsend on the 6th, 7th, and 8th. So if you like watching the show, you might like hanging out with us. We might have beer, and better yet, you might have beer. Come hang out, come check out the boat. Say hi to Haley. Say hi to me if you want. Everyone's here for Haley, we know this. Be sure to t uh, show up for the Wooden Boat Festival. It's gonna be fun, and I'm excited to see you guys there. Be there. And if you watched last week's episode, you will have seen our deep dive into the history of this boat where we meet Andrew and Melinda Okulich, the people who built this boat on Dead Man Island. It's the yeah. only boat ever built on Dead Man's Island. Allegedly. We assume. Allegedly. We uh, don't actually know. So if you do know, drop a comment. Yeah, my question is, do you guys believe in ghosts? Because uh, wouldn't this boat be like turbo haunted? There's mm -hmm. literally thousands of dead people on that island. And a lot of them died on so, that island. I don't think that a haunting is always a bad thing. We could just have good vibes from all the sailors that used to live there. Oh, so tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. What do you could think? Could it be good haunting or bad haunting? Like, because I think only good feelings here, only yeah, positive 100%. stuff. Yeah, 100%. Thunderchild takes care of us, so. So, enjoy this episode. Feel free to drop a like, drop a comment, and we will see you at the end of the episode. Be there or be square or be both. We don't care, just be there. Woo! Oh. Howdy. Nice to finally see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're getting in? This is so for sketchy. Sketchier than normal? This is... Sit down. So many people have Low fallen out of this boat yeah. before. You know what? I probably would do that. Okay. We wrapped up our last night in Ganges Harbor with Zoa, Lisa, Masha, and good old Muffin from episode one. What a lovely evening and what a lovely way to spend our last day in Ganges Harbor. Well, our time in Salt Spring is over. We're gonna head back to Gabriola, but first we're gonna spend a night at Anchor in on Galliano Island, just near Montague Harbor. So looking forward to it. And our friend Masha, she's there. So we're gonna go kick off the docks now. Right now? Right, well, pretty soon. Too soon? I just need to sit. Yeah, she, she may be hungover. No. Who knows? Hard to tell. On the road again. Yeah, we're just bouncing out of Ganges now. But I'm gonna do a little pass by by this uh, six hotel oh, That's a hell yeah for me. All brand new sails. Good news for Haley's hangover. Today's trip is only eight nautical miles from Salt Spring all the way over to Galliano Island. We did our due diligence and checked beforehand what the clearance was on our mast versus the height of these power lines and all is well. And here Haley's getting everything ready for anchoring because all of our chain is stowed below our bed. hopped aboard Masha's boat, which is a Passport 42 for the evening, and had some beer and some cocktails and started to cook up some delicious food. At this point, I was kind of questioning why we didn't depart Ganges Harbor sooner and just go out into the middle of the islands and set our hook. Yeah, 
child could get to this look. I just like the shininess and not yeah, me too. hard to beat cooking with friends, chilling out on such a beautiful boat, and wonderful surroundings such as Montague Harbor, and a good old barbecue up on deck to cook up all of our good food. Bright and early in the morning, and Haley got in the mood to cook some food, so she made one of her specialties, shakshuka. What a perfect way to wrap up our final day of our vacation. And in case you're wondering, it tastes way better than it looks. Absolutely delightful. Now on our way, Haley and I are working our way towards home. We're headed north, and our first destination is going to be Gabriola Pass. We're looking at about two or three hours of sailing due north through Trincomalee Channel. And surprisingly, there's actually a steady breeze in Trincomalee. We got the mizzen up. Uh, really nice to finally have that up because it's been out of commission because the sheet's been too fucked up. Uh, I got it to set a lot nicer finally. Did the outhaul, so yeah, she's in good shape. Main's up, two four sails are up, we're under full sail right now. And Masha is four knots behind us, so yeah, she's not too far behind. So um, yeah, we're just gonna sail instead of motor sailing and give her a chance to catch up so we can buddy boat through Gabriela Pass. And we are just beside said island right there. It is known for being an island, and then we're also beside Valdez. Which is also known for being an island. Which is also, that's its main also prominent feature. a lot of trees as well. And a rookery. Oh. Cormoran rookery. There's some rookery. And we have uh, plenty of time before we need to worry about going through Por not Polier, <laughs> through Gabriela Pass. Um, 3.30 would be current with us. Four o'clock is slack, and then five, 30 is kind of the cutoff where you'd have like two and a half knots against you. Oh, we're zooming. Oh, yeah. Cool. Try and catch this, Nasha. Try and catch this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're flying along. Woo! And we are wing on wing right now. No preventers on, so I'm being very cautious wind is from about there so the mizzen's the one that's likely to jibe over but it's quite light winds right now we're going three knots pretty steady four sails are just flogging right now i don't know if one of them is but pretty happy with this after we slowed down masha eventually caught right up to us and then I think for the first time ever, Haley and I got to experience the joy that is buddy boating with somebody else. It's a very wonderful thing to be able to just drift around and sail for a few hours with no rhyme or reason, passing around each other, 
getting cool videos of each other and enjoying the spectacular sights all around us. This was our first really amazing taste of a summer trip and I can truly understand why people go through all the effort to live a life like this. The rewards are plentiful. other boaters. What possessed this guy to go well out of his way to do a full loop around all of us? I have no idea. But unfortunately, this is all too common. What a dude. Now it's time to shorten sail and get ready to transit Gabriola Pass. And just like that, our vacation is over, but there's tons more adventures just like this to come. So uh, our friend Doug is over and I was giving him a little tour on deck and I was showing him the four peak area and- Obviously that hatch is problematic. Yeah. But we noticed that there's a huge piece of glass, like a four inch piece of glass missing from the cover. And which, which means we've been sleeping with glass last night and currently if we don't find it oh, mystery glass Haley's gonna find it gotta be careful but it yeah. probably got like just kicked to the the back but I don't want to be like crawling around on the bed uh yeah I don't want to I don't want to die in my sleep I'm gonna organize all this stuff and then I'll do a hunt yeah whoops broken glass no 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 <laughs> don't put it back don't put it back crack pull it open Let's show the let's show our fine uh, fine viewers what we get up to. Because after a little bit of that, we probably won't show them anything. <laughs> Woo! Damn, why'd you buy that? I have it. <laughs> Twelve years. Sheesh. You got some glasses and some. You I guess. Wash some, wash some nice glasses. We just drink it out of the bottle. <laughs> That's how you know you're rich when you're just drinking it straight out of the bottle like it's a fucking Mickey. You gotta smell the cork, don't ya? Mm. It's not sniffing wine. a dog. Uh, a skull. Polish people say, um, stolat. Stolat. I like that. So our outboard just died on us, our electric one. So I had a really uncomfortable <laughs> row back. <laughs> Fucking shocker. So one of our friends, one of our good friends on the island here, yeah, David Dare, he um, he's had this motor he's kind of wanted us to buy and we've wanted to buy for ages. Despite the fact that we have the Thunder Child annual payment this mm. month, uh, he made it very easy for us. So thank you so much, Dave. Yeah. Really appreciate it. And we're going to go pick it up tomorrow. So that's... Yay. Very exciting. So we're we're gonna have a nine nine point nine twenty seventeen Yamaha, which is gonna go great with our secret project I haven't talked about yet. Uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Uh, don't forget we have a PayPal link down there. Uh, <laughs> Just grunting. Uh, Pam, do you know how to drive? That was perfect. That was. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, we're just picking up the new outboard. Uh, yeah, I reckon it's in here. Um, yeah, here she is. Oh, what do you think? Wow, we're well stocked with food and outboard. Yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah, sweet. And just like that, thanks to the help from our friends Dave and Don, Haley and I are mobile again absolutely essential tool for anyone who wants to go cruising.
And speaking of Don and Dave, they invited me out fishing the very next day. Our goal? Catch some lingcod. We are fishing on the Adair's boat, Bandit. Uh, and supposedly there's a fish on? Uh, a bite. A bite. We got a bite. We're getting there. Welcome aboard Bandit, Don and Dave's fishing boat. This thing is a lean, mean fishing machine. I've gone out several times fishing with them since this trip, and every single time we managed to catch our entire limit. Pretty incredible. I like to think that it's in part because of my good luck. But realistically, it's probably entirely because of Dave's skill and experience. Biggest so far. Yeah. Whoa, how much does that weigh, you reckon? Well, it's got our new scale up. It's in the, one of those bags. God, he's, Let's he's take a, a look at the length. Beast. I'll come bite it. Holy hell, those teeth are gnarly. They're crazy. <laughs> 18 pounds? 18. Damn, dude. Growing up, I was always deeply obsessed with fishing, but I never had the means to go out fishing. We were quite poor growing up, so getting to do this with Don and Dave every time is an absolute delight, and I always learn something, whether it's how to fillet the fish, or more importantly, how to catch the fish. Uh, bake, a little butter and lemon. we have your attention <laughs> thanks for watching the episode all the way to the end delightful sailing trip and we have a lot of really cool stuff coming up in the future again a little reminder we're gonna be in port townsend when september 6th to 8th wow is yeah. that right that's it's coming up Canadian pretty quick takeover. i've been painting the sides of the boat getting it all ready mm. <laughs> This is why we're not a popular YouTube show. Yeah, pardon me, pardon me. Um, been painting the side of the boat, getting it all ready for the boat show. We're going to be varnishing along the way as we go down. So just as a side note, we did have grand plans to make the boat basically done by then. It didn't happen. Yeah. I'm well, sure a lot of you can relate. Yeah, we got hit with like a six-day mm. rainstorm. No, so. our boat sails on hopes and dreams. So. And ghosts. In ghosts. We got so many good episodes coming up. Mm -hmm. Please stay tuned for all of that stuff like we have had a really really delightful uh summer so far we've gone to a couple little previews we've gone to Jedediah island mm -hmm. we've gone to lesquiti we've gone Montague harbor and galliano montague twice yeah pirates cove smugglers cove deep bay yeah um oh uh, yeah that's pretty much it yeah I think. Yeah, we've been cruising around. Uh, Haley's mom even came aboard for a little yep, bit. So my mom will be in a future episode, yeah. which is very exciting. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will love her just as much as you guys love Haley. She's cooler than me. I'm yeah. Sure if I like way. And she has her, and she brought her dog. Yeah. And it's my favorite dog. So. Sailing dog. Get ready for 
a delightful summer's worth of episodes coming up, including mm. what we're about to do, where we're going to go down to Port Townsend, we're going to go possibly join a sailing race in the San Juan Islands. We're possibly going to be buddy boating with a couple other YouTubers that we wow, are planning to so meet up cool. with. And massive thank you to all of our patrons without you guys this wouldn't be possible the youtube itself brings in a little bit of revenue the patron page brings in substantially more it's just about viable enough for me to be legitimately full-time on this which is awesome and i hope you guys have noticed i'm really trying to step up on the editing and the filmmaking side of it so i still work full-time and it's exhausting so the better our youtube show does the less tired that I am. And the more and trips we can go on. I get and... to be around for more of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, some of the cool stuff that happened, I was at work. So. Yeah, and we got a lot of really big plans for the winter where we're going to finish all the interior renos and do a bunch of rigging work. So winter is going to yeah, be a wild thing. We have a little exciting little update coming about the winter stuff, but we'll get into that when it actually gets a little closer. Yeah. So. And uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, doing all the things. Mm -hmm. Everything helps. And if you feel like supporting further, then links are all in the description mm -hmm. down here. Uh, we got Buy Us a Beer, we got Patron, we've got my PayPal link. Um, and Also, if you're in Nanaimo, come get a tattoo. Yeah, that's exactly That's a great way support. to support our channel, too. Yeah, so. you need your boat moved, you need shipwright work done, reach mm -hmm. out. Yeah, that's what we do. Also, I'm trying to take some commercial courses in the next couple months, so mm -hmm. any support also helps with me getting proper training um, so that we can be safe and stuff out mm -hmm. there. So, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to do this serious. So absolutely. So on that note, thank you guys for tuning in. Cheers to you guys. Chip, chip, cheerio. And we will see you hopefully in Port Townsend. It's coming up real soon. Looking forward to it. Otherwise, we'll come to your house. I know where you live. I know where you live. Put on your reading glasses and strap your butts down. It's gonna... <laughs> what? What? Le Roi? First beer, hey? I need another beer. Yeah, started by opening a beer.